Shaka, you and I have done a lot for ESPN FC regarding the youth and who the best England 11 is mm -hmm. that are coming through. So it's only fair that we kind of go to the other end of the spectrum. And you've picked... We are not ageist <laughs> in this place. No. Right. You've picked your best 11 of players over the age of 30. I'm over 30. Currently playing in the Premier League. I'm currently playing. In where? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so this is the 11 that you've gone for. You had a, you had a decent choice. Any that you wish to single out? Uh, well, there's a few I, I think I, I should mention. Um, Kasper Schmeichel, uh, I think, has been simply outstanding for, for some time. I, I still think, despite everything he's done in the game and he's won and how good Leicester have been, I think he's still underrated. And Kasper Schmeichel continues to be a standout goalkeeper for me. Saying that, I think the name that jumps off the page more than any is Dejan Lovren. And I'll be honest, this is Dejan Lovren of this season. I I. I feel that Lovren has been far better, far more consistent than we've seen him in his entire Liverpool career. Maybe that might have a lot to do with playing alongside Van Dijk. I accept that. But I don't think there's any question that Dejan Lovren, this season, certainly in terms of defenders over 30, has been as good as we've seen him better than, than anybody else in the Premier League. What, what was your criteria to pick this? Is it... Um, form throughout their career, form since they were 30, or what did you choose? No, I'm just thinking more form of late, in, in all honesty, why, which is why Lovren is in there. I, I don't think Lovren gets in no, last season. That, that's fair, but my point would then be, going further forward into midfield, Gofi Sigurdsson's not had the best season, and James no. Milner hasn't even been included in your Yeah, I, I, and listen, I, I am as big a Milner fan as any, but I understand the struggles of Everton and Sigurdsson, has kind of gone along with, with, with that wave. But I, I just feel, kind of given the fact that um, Milner, you're not sure if he, if he starts right now. I just feel Sigurdsson has been a little bit more consistent. He's started in, a few and been on the bench for a few I, I Listen, I, it was, it was I, I'll, be, I'll be honest here. I had David Silva and Fern. I went 43 because I thought the three strikers spoke for themselves, right? <laughs> I was trying to decide what my formation is going to be. You see Obama Yang, <laughs> Uh, Aguero. Aguero, Vardy, they're in, so now all of a sudden I'm 43. Uh, and then I had David Silva and Fernandinho had to be in. And then after that, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm, I'm just plugging a hole. And plug that hole with Sigurdsson this time around. So finally, uh, your front three is fantastic. Thank you. But if you were to take one of those players that you've picked, Ooh. as their importance to their team is concerned, Ooh. and take them out, would it be Vardy? Because... Leicester minus Vardy this season would probably be a, a top 10 team. They might not be up there. Is he the most wow. important in the 11 that you've picked to I, their team? I, listen, if I had to leave one out, and, and this is an absolute stretch, I'm, I'm just going to say Aubameyang because Arsenal are, low, are the lowest of the three respective clubs in the table. Other than that, I can't find any kind of logical reason to pick one over the other. I can't find any kind of reason to, to leave one out over, over anybody else, which is why, as I said uh, when I started, my formation was dictated by the fact that <laughs> I think those three, and, and you could ma also make the argument that those three strikers, more than any of the other players on the park, need to be there. You can chop and change and make arguments yeah. for everybody else, but those three, you absolutely can't. So that's a bit of an unfair question, Mark. Uh, it's not an unfair question, Shaq. It's not. I want to end by feeling old. Kasper Schmeichel Go used on, to be then. the little kid that was on his daddy's shoulders at Old Trafford when he played. Mm -hmm. He's in his 30s now. Yeah. It's not right. You're telling me? I'm older than you. I know. I know it might not look it. But I am older than that. That? <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.